everybody. This is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Hey, hey, I'm getting fascinated by uh, gutted books. And uh, I have this other thing I'm doing lately with gutted books. I just wanted to show you because it um, inspires me. I think lots of people have been doing this. For some reason, I am very late to the party, but I'm very excited. And, you know, apparently uh, y'all can teach a dog a new trick. And, and today I'm the dog. Okay, so... Uh, Basically, this concept came from me originally. I was stenciling the uh, book pages. You may have seen that video the other day. A great way to make background papers. But then I was sitting here. I have more books, and this is half of the one I was still working on. And I thought, well, I do have all these scraps. And people were telling me how at the end of their scrap, uh, uh, at the end of their crafting sessions, they were just putting their scraps down on a book page and then putting more on the next page and more on the next page and they would build these usable collages uh, for their work. So I thought that would be fun to do, but I took it a few steps further and made some fun things from them. Like for example, um, uh, you know, I've had this uh, paperclip addiction lately. So I've been making some paper clips with some of these particular items that I've uh, created from these collage pages from my books. So yeah, I just thought maybe you want to check this out. It's very easy to do. Great way to use up scraps. These are a lot of fun. Uh, very functional for uh, junk journals and uh, so many other things, but basically altered paper clips from handmade background collages from our gut books, our book guts. So there we go. Well, there's a long name, huh? Now I do have some of these I made. So let me just show you some of the ones I made. These are just the um, pieces of the collage and I just cut them up into pieces so that I could make uh, background, um, make some um, paper clips out of them, but they came out all just, they're all different. And um, it just depends what you do to them. So I'm gonna show you some of the different things that I did just to give you some ideas that you might like to play with. Let me just a bunch of these things. Th this is very easy. Anybody can do this. Do I, do I say that a lot? I say that a lot, right? Well, it's true. It's true, golly gee. It's true. <laughs> Anybody can do this. Okay, so all you need, grab yourself an old novel or an old book you've taken the cover off. Maybe you made a beautiful junk journal out of the cover, but then you're left with this. And how can we put this to good use? A million and one ways, and this is just one of them. Oh, and I have a revelation. I'm going to be using a different glue stick today. Uh, I grabbed some of my cheaper glue sticks, um, but not first. I actually grabbed my old friend, Scotch Create glue stick in the beginning. And then as I was, oh, he's almost empty anyway, but uh, doing this, there was a lot of glue going down for what I needed. And I thought maybe it was too much. This is a very like, um, it's a sticky, gooey kind of glue, but it's great glue. But I thought I was wasting too much product on a large area. So I thought, self, what about all those other glue sticks you have hanging around? So I just grabbed some of my unbeknownst glue sticks and they actually go down a little bit smoother. So for this project, I think you're gonna cover a large area. Maybe grab an El Cheapo and see if it works. Now I can't guarantee it's going to stick because sometimes the El Cheapos, they stick for five minutes and then you're not stuck anymore. Uh, but this one, I don't know, I think I got it from Amazon somewhere. It's called Wexford. Have no idea where I got it, honestly. Um, but it goes very smoothly. I don't get a lot of glue on here, but there, I have put down this. Okay, so the first thing I did was um, I uh, decided to, what did I decide to do? Okay, I, I got so many things to show you. I don't even know where to begin. Start anywhere, Pam. Okay, so I thought I had some a sewing pattern and I thought, well, well, that would be very nice. We could give it like a little bit of a crinkly look going on here. Let's just put that down. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's wrinkled or not. That totally doesn't matter. And then we already have that, and that looks kind of cool already. How cool is that? And then I, what, what did I do? Oh, I came along and I did some rubber stamping on it, right? Is that what I did? No, that's not what I did with this one. Let's just go ahead and do that, though. That sounds kind of fun. All right, I had a rubber stamp. If I were a rubber stamp, where would you be? I had a nice little flower rubber stamp. Where are you? Where are you? I'm hiding. I'm over here. I'm over here. Oh, there you are. I knew you were here somewhere. Can't have gone far. Can't have gone far. 
Okay, so I'm just grabbing some random, here's a black soot will look nice on this, okay. So this is a Distress Ink black soot. This is rubber stamp of, you know, doesn't matter. And basically this just makes really pretty paper, like all of a sudden, oh, can you see that, are you close enough? It's just really pretty paper. Let me, let me put it sideways so it fits in the picture better. Uh, there, okay. And you can just random stamp. And this is gorgeous. I mean, this is like fancy, I don't know, like fancy pants paper. And maybe let's put, I have a little bird. A little bird. I think I got these from Etsy somewhere. Or maybe AliExpress. This might have been AliExpress. Okay. Okay. And, you know, random, doesn't matter. This is just a, okay, over there. Random design, upright, upside down, downside up, doesn't matter. It's all good. I feel like I want some words in there. Give me some words. Oh, that's, I haven't used that yet. This is cool. This is a script stamp. Let's just plop some of that right over the top. Now there is already some script in the back, so maybe it's overkill, Pat. Maybe it's overkill. Oh, well, just, uh, just put a little down. It can't hurt, right? Yeah, just a little. Ah, this is just so pretty. Ah, now you just got this beautiful paper. I mean, look how beautiful it is. You just tear it off, you know, and then you come along with your fancy scissors. And you just trim it. Stuff's pretty easy to trim. Can't sand this with sanding block because it's too thin. The background paper is too thin. But that gives us something nice to work with. And now we have this nice paper that is so pretty and we can do things with it. And it's very easy and it's, it's useful. Um, and I'll show you some things we can make with it. But I'm gonna do some, let's do a few more background papers. I wanna show you different things that you can use. Maybe you don't have sewing pattern paper, but if you do, if you have a bunch of old sewing pattern paper around, this is kind of a fun way to play with your paper. Isn't that pretty? That's really cool. Okay, so next, let's say, where's my glue stick? Okay, and where is my tissue? Let's say you don't, Pam, I don't, I don't have sewing paper. I don't have pattern paper but I have a tissue, I have a tissue. Okay, so we're gonna take your tissue, and we're gonna get our tape. This is what we do. We're gonna take it down to one layer. The old tape trick, got a piece of scotch tape on here. There we go, now we have two layers of tissue. And because I probably bought the cheap stuff, that's all we got. You might have three layers, be prepared. You can also do this with a napkin. That would be really cool. Maybe we'll do that. I have a napkin over there. There's just so many things you can do with the guts of a book. Okay. I think I'm getting all enthralled about, uh, I turned it that way again, didn't I? I? I can't stop doing that. That's a thing. It's the text. I'm trying to read the text for some reason, this book that I'm not reading. And uh, yeah, my brain is just trying to orient it that way. Okay, here we go. We cover it with, slather it with glue. And it just, it feels so good to use up this stuff. I'm telling you, and, and for good reason. For We have good reason here. Okay. Now, let's put this down. All right, there we go. And I like the wrinkles in it. I think it's kind of cool. But doesn't that give it like a misty, sort of mysterious look? I think that's really pretty. And then you can go ahead and, um, you know, do whatever you like on here, actually. But um, I think I am going to put some more rubber stamps down because I do, oh, I do like those. Oh, I've got a lot of rubber stamps here. What's that? Well, that's a heart and that's a heart. That's pretty. I've got a couple heart rubber stamps. Let's just have some fun with that. Maybe I'll try a different color. Maybe I'll, I'm going blue. I'm going blue tumbled glass. Here we go. Don't know why, just am. Wasn't I going to put some words on? Oh, I did, yeah. Okay. Huh? Oh, that doesn't look like blue at all, does it? It looks like brown, brown, black. Oh, there's been something on there. Okay, now it's turning blue. Bluish. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's put a few more on here. You never know with my stamps what you get. It's always a surprise. Okay. And maybe we'll do some, do some black hearts. These are all, this is the heart paper. So you can just play with it and have fun. And uh, just uh, stamp away at will. There's no rhyme or reason here. This is just fun. And now I can use that for another pretty background for something, but I have purpose for these today. They're going somewhere. They're going to be made into something and we're going to make them together. So there you go. Um, I feel like I want a little more color on there. Where's my brown? Where's my brown? Oh, there's a brown. Okay. 
I don't know why, but I just feel like I want to... So I'm going to try that. Don't know what's going to do. Maybe I'll try it on the edges first. Looks kind of nice on the edges. Okay. Okay, might be a little intense if I go over the whole thing, but I'm just going to try it. I don't know what's going to happen. Here we go. Okay, that's knocking the whiteness down. Okay, that's okay. Ooh, that looks kind of cool, though. And let's maybe try some uh, worn lipstick on there. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just goofing around at this point. Yeah, just putting some different colors on it. Just see what it looks like. It's only paper. you got to be brave and have fun and just give it a go, right? We never know until we give it a go. A little bit in the middle. That's very pretty. I like that. A little green. Why not? We're here. This is peeled paint. Okay. All righty. Okay. It's coming off a little odd. The edges probably didn't glue it down that well. That's okay, though. It's still pretty paper. I'm going to take that off. Now we have this paper to work with. That's very pretty, right? Okay, so now we have, we have two. They look very different so far. Let's make another one. Okay, so the next one is going to be a completely different style, but I'm going to still work with my same... El Cheapo glue and crozing across. Where's Sonny? He's right behind me. He's in the chair position in the craft chair with mom. Mom has like two inches and Sonny has the big sprawl space behind me. Mm-hmm. Don't you, boy? Oh, yeah, it's really comfy back here, mom. You ought to try it. Yeah, yeah, so I've heard. Um, okay, so now the next one is let's use up some scraps. And, oh, we got no shortage of those. No shortage of those around here. Okay, here we go. Here's my bag of current scraps. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to grab some longies strips. I'm just looking for strips and stuff like that. And I thought, okay, this is pretty. Let's do this. Let's just lay me down some strips. And we're just going to build a background because I am falling over my strips just like an old crafty clown. Yep, that's the way it goes. Okay, here we go. All right, Make, this happens very fast and this is a great way to use up your scraps after a project. And I think all those people who told me about this, um, I'm now going to officially say you were right. Yes, <laughs> you were absolutely right. This is a brilliant idea. You use up tons of scraps really fast, super easy. Why have I not been doing this for years? And then they're not all flopping around all over the place in a paper bag, you know what I mean? It's they have purpose. And then when you have things like this already made, I mean, you're halfway home when it comes to pockets and tucks and, and and stuff like that you just got to sort of you know move it here you can I, I did I oriented it that way again I can't stop doing that apparently um okay there we go and isn't that that's pretty right I mean you could even make a, a cover out of that or something I like that I like that a lot okay we still damp down here that's good okay and one blue one bluish and I think I'm going to borrow from these little pieces that are hanging off. Just, I'm going to build, build the last piece. There, how about that? That's good. How about that? All right, push that all down. And isn't that a pretty piece of paper? Okay, so let's trim that off. What a great, easy, fun way to make a bunch of scraps. I know. I know. I, I, oh, you already knew? I know. I know you guys are good. <laughs> um, all right. Let's see how this baby turns out. Okay. I don't think I'm supposed to be cutting it. That's not a cutting mat, Pam. That's a glue mat. And you're going to cut right through your glue mat. You just get off there, Sally. All right. I'm off. Oh, I should move the glue mat. Okay, move the glue mat. Oh, I really need... Okay, it's been... All right, it's been a week, okay? Can I tell you? And um, I have not cleaned my mat yet today, or my desk needs a good little cleaning, but not at the moment. We are playing. So we're in the throes of it, the thick of it. There we go. We have that. Very functional, very ready to have a lot of fun. And we are now a party of three. Thank you very much. And let's make one more. 
Um, where's the book? We need the book. Okay, here's the book. Okay, so this one, I think I went to town more on this one. All right, so let's, let's glue this. Yeah, that's very pretty. Let me grab a napkin because I think that would be fun to try. Let's try that. Okay, just putting this all here, all gluey like. Okay, so I get up for one second and Sunny takes up the whole chair. Yeah, that's right. There's like no room left for Mama. Sprawled out, all comfy. Oh, yeah, son, you have to readjust. Mama's back in town. Okay. Okay. There we go. Sometimes you have to. Give it a, a run at it. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Taking this off. Yeah, that tape trick. You know, there's a few tricks in life that are, you're so happy that you learned. That is one of them, to get those napkins apart. No more fussing on the edges. Probably a good idea to take your napkin apart first before you put your glue down in case your glue dries. I think this is a three-ply napkin. It looks like a thicko, thicker one. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Yes, yes, I see you under there. I do. And you could actually relay down this white tissue paper on another page. I mean, you could just keep going. You don't have to waste a thing. Okay. Okie dokie. Oh, yeah, just rip the napkin. Oh, and again. That happens sometimes. So you just carry on. This is a very delicate napkin, apparently. Come on, napkin. Some of them, they just let go normally, but this one, he's like, oh, no, I'm fighting to stay together. Goodness gracious, just give me some of yourself. I don't need much, and my glue is drying. Okay, here we go, here we go. Not bad, not bad, we got lots. That's enough to work with. I can even take the torn part. I think it'll look cool on there. All right, here we go. Fl fluttering down, fluttering down. Oh, everybody get straightened out here, straightened out, okay. See, even the, the, the little break in the, like, like you could actually, well, it would be nice if I did that where there was, if there were words. That looks kind of cool, peeking through where the little, the little words are. Okay, would be nice if I do it where the words are, Pam, do it where the words are, okay. Yeah, that looks actually pretty cool. So you can do stuff like that. See that? It's kind of cool, huh? Yeah, I mean, really, when you do it with a napkin, you're pretty much done. You can keep decorating from there, but... That is an easy way to get a nice, uh, I'm gonna fold this in half. So, no, that's gonna be too complicated. Don't do that. Just trim it around. I know it's gonna take you a second. It's all right though. Okay, I'm trimming, 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 tearing and trimming. I'm gonna have a lot of little pieces of napkin. I can do things with, I can do things. Oh, okay, yeah, I know what I did now. I know the one we're missing. And then we will make some things. These are not the things we're making. No, we're just making some bases for the things we're making. That's why it's handy to have some book guts around. So another reason not to feel bad about tearing apart a book because you fell in love with the cover and you want to use it for a junk journal, that these pages on the inside, well, they can really come to life. Isn't that cool? I just think it's so cool. Okay, I just tear a little more there. Just the old fingernail. The old fingernail. Yep. Yeah, that looks actually pretty cool. Let's just do a bunch of it here. A little, little bit. I don't want to muck the bird up too much. I like the bird. I just want to see if I take it a little further. What will happen? What will happen? Okay. That's kind of a cool, weathered, shabby sort of look, right? Very cool. Okay, all our pages are looking so unique and different from each other. And who knew they were just an innocent book page to begin with in life? And let's carry on. Let's make another one. Let's make another one. Um... Make sure you retract your craft knife. It's always a good idea. Okay, here we go. Yep. Turn it this way, Pam, so it'll fit in the screen. Okay, here we go. Boop, 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 boop. This glides actually very nicely. Um, I, I, I do always love my um, Scotch Create glue stick, but I am not married to my Scotch Create glue stick. And I am not sponsored by my Scotch Create glue stick, so my love for my Scotch Create glue stick still exists. I have not left it. I, I believe in it, but I am open to learning new things and I actually like this glue for this purpose. Okay, so the next thing would be, um, let's say you just have like little pieces of paper and stuff around. You're just trying to figure out what to do with. So maybe not everything is <clears throat> strips, but maybe it's pieces. 
you know, like just stuff you have left over. All right, let's just put down some stuff. Let's, we're going to collage now. Oh, we're collaging. Look at us. We're all fancy collage people collaging away. Yeah, that's what we're doing. I think it's just, I mean, there's no right or wrong to this. You just put it down. I think the whole thing is um, don't worry about it too much. And it's actually okay if you leave open space because everything looks cool on book pages. It just does. Yeah. And um, that's kind of neat. That's kind of a neat thing. So there we go. Okay, we got a few longies. You might want to go in here. I don't think so. I don't want to work with you. No, go away. We're, we just worked with longies. We're going to work with others. Others, others. Okay, I'm, I'm digging back in the scrap pile. What's in there? Go look in the bag, Pammy. You know you got no shortage of scraps in here. All right. All right, unicorns are real. They are. In case anybody was wondering, they're definitely real. Yes. And what are you? Oh, you're a very pretty little paper. You look very nice on here. Okay. Here. Okay. Um, and you can layer or not layer. Totally up to you. Okay. And you can hang over. And just make yourself a nice little collage. <clears throat> what have I got? This is just some plain white. You can put big pieces, little pieces. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you've got some edges, you can always just come on along and There we go. Do I want to put down some of this? I think if I'm going to do that, I'm going to put it right where the glue is. Oh, and I've got some more sewing pattern paper here. I'm going to put you there. And what else is hanging around here? More of the napkin. Put a little piece of napkin there. Okay. 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 And what are you? I have no idea what you are, but you're kind of pretty. Okay, I'll put you there. And then you can just start layering this stuff up. Let me bring you in a little bit closer so you can see. So let's just kind of, let's now look for the what I call the oddball pieces. They're like little weird pieces that you have that they really have no purpose, but they might look really cool if you just put them down on a piece of paper, like here. Just put it there. Yeah, that's kind of cool, just the way it is. And just gum this up and we'll just put you there. Oops, you're bigger than I thought. I need more glue. Put you there. Now we'll glue you back over there. So, yeah. Um, these little tiny little slivers of nothing. Little slivers of nothingness. What are you? Come to me, little sliver of nothingness. Okay, here's a little piece. Like these little pieces from brown wrapper that are really old, they're fun to just glue down. Oops. All right, and I'll put you there. Yeah, that, like that. Okay. Now, a little bit more. Okay, just a little bit more. And then we'll call this one done. And then we'll make some fun things out of these. So I can, you can hear you rejoice with glee going, oh, thank God we know what to do with these now. Because you make these things, Pam, but you don't show us what to do with them. We don't, we, I know a lot of you have ideas. You don't need my ideas, but I like your ideas. You've got some amazing ideas. Um, okay, let's see, maybe here, and I do like this cream color, I think that sort of brings things together. This is definitely an old flypaper page or an old end page in a book. Um, not too close to that, how about here? Okay, and this will be just little unifying pieces of nothingness. Just like them, just like to use them, use them up. And uh, who knows what this will become one day. Nobody knows. We don't have to decide today. That's the nice thing about it. You can just kind of shake out your, your artistic cobwebs and get some of this stuff down. You know what I mean? Just get it down. It's okay. Just to put it on 
some paper, glue it, and be done with it for the day. It doesn't have to be finished. It doesn't have to have a purpose. There. Okay. There. All right. Looking. Scissors found. Yay! Getting better at that. Even in the mess. Yep, even in the mess. Okay. Trimming. Sometimes these little wispy papers are better trimmed with scissors than even with the old tearing ruler or craft knife deal. Because sometimes there's drag on the paper, you know what I mean? And when you, it's a little damp from the glue, it can drag and tear. So just get in there and give it a little trim. Pretty, right? Okay, so we have that. We have that. With this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Very pretty. Okay, so with those, let's make some altered paper clips because I really feel like making altered paper clips. And if you guys want to come along for the ride, I think that would be totally awesome. Um, I also rediscovered something I thought I didn't like and then I found out that I did. How about that? You know, I almost was gonna throw it out the window and then all of a sudden I liked it yeah and I'll show you what it is it is um, these uh, gilding style waxes they're called opal magic um, I bought a bunch online I was I, I couldn't find this one anymore my, my favorite gold gilding wax by artsy company they don't sell it anymore they don't make it anymore it's my favorite one in the whole wide world smells like orange and I love you but in my, my sense of deep loss, I went and ordered all these others just to try. And I found that these were a little bit more translucent and they didn't give me that great impact that my favorite gave me. You know how it is. But these are actually still pretty nice. And let me just show. Okay, so this one, just in case you want to see the lid, you were looking for it. That's what it is. Okay. Um, but you can just like come in and, and do like um, smudging. Yeah, just a little smudge, smudge here, smudge there. You can do finger smudging. You can do smudging with a paintbrush. You can um, you can side smudge. You can um, you can you can do whatever you like. Okay, just like random smudges. Yeah, and that just kind of gives it a little bit of a a little bit of a, a, a metallic opalescent sort of flare. So that one was Bronze Age. These don't have the nice smell of my citrus smelling artsy one, but that's okay. Now this one, they call it turquoise, but it sure looks like white to me. Okay, so here's this one. Let's just try it. Uh, it's, this stuff is very soft, very soft. It's like, um, gosh, it's almost like um, foundation or something. You know, it's just super soft. So you just put like random little, maybe they, they go this way, go that way. They're like little innocent flecks. Little innocent flex, as opposed to non-innocent flex. But they were just like something came by, rubbed against it, you know, and it happened. These things, they happen in life. And sometimes you rub against. Okay. Can you see that? It's just got a little bit of opalescence here and there. I don't know. It's really pretty. And I became intrigued with this again. So here I am actually playing with them and opening them up and showing it to you. These are by Art Alchemy, Opal Magic, Turquoise Satin. So that is one. I think they're in my Amazon shop. Don't quote me because I think I wasn't all that excited about them originally and I, maybe I didn't put them in there. But maybe I did because I thought, well, you know, give people options. This is what I could find. This one is Vintage Silk. Okay, so let's try that one. All right, here we have this. This is very pretty. Um, okay, this, and they all feel a little different. They're like paste waxy, very soft wax though. Uh, I'm just gonna, like, I'm not like, you know, there's no heavy thinking here. No, there's like, eh, I think I like a little bit there, a little bit here, a little over here, maybe a little over down here. Yeah, just cause I'm, yeah, that's what I was doing. And it just gives it this little opalescent finish, which is, this one actually smells like vanilla. Okay, I like that smell, that's a nice smell. You get 10 points. All right, and we have this one. Yeah, you could use a little something. Let's do, okay, what do we, you have some green something here. What's this? This is Lucky Emerald by Antique Brilliance Wax. Oh, focus. Cure? What's it say? 
C-I-R-E, C-E-R-A, Art Alchemy, Oxal Mixes. Okay, I don't know the difference. But it, it sweats, interesting, right? Because it's not, it's not hot in the house, but it's sweating. But you can kind of remix it, re-blend it, and then you got this. Let's see what happens with that. I don't know where to put it. Where should I put it? Like, I just, I'll just put it just a little here. It's kind of like a darkish green. I'll do it on the edges. I'll pick it up. Okay, give it a little bit of framing. So this is just going to give a little hint of a more subtle shine. Not as intense as the other ones. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I don't know what that is. Just, we got it on there. It looks kind of cool. I have a little more. Oh, that looks actually pretty pretty. It's pretty pretty. I like it now. I'm doing it. It's almost like a Christmas green. Yeah. Okay. Don't be shy, Pam. Just put it on there. All right. I'm so afraid to mess it up. It's only paper. Yeah, but I had it looking good. Yeah, you can always make another. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay. I have more book pages. It's okay. But you could keep going with that. How fun is that, right? And here's the first one we started with, with the sewing pattern. Do we have another one? Oh, we do. We have some other oddball one, which I'm sure I slammed. I've got several. Let's see what color this is. Amethyst Magic. Should we do that or should we do... This is some other brand. Um, Soft Southern Strokes Antiquing Wax Ms. Astor's Gold. Apply with a soft cloth brush or your fingers. Oh, yay. Yay. Okay. We're in. Now this one, it almost feels like honey. It feels like honey with a little sparkle in it. There's not much here. Not the greatest smell, but oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, it seems to be darkening up the ridges in the paper. I like that. And maybe it'll have a hint of a sparkle on it. That will just be so fancy town. You're so fancy town. All right. Here we go. There we go. This is fun. I mean, you know how some things are work and some things are fun? This is definitely fun. <laughs> I mean, I find it that's super fun. We're having fun, doing stuff, we're playing, we're using up our pages. More of our pages are being used for wonderful things. Okay, so what do we got? I don't know if you can see the, the opal, the little, there's a very slight, it's a very slight, but it did darken up the creases and it does have a little um, sparkle. So we have been sparkled. Sunny, you got to move back one inch. Mother, mother's bottom's bigger than that. Okay, so now what we need to do is clear the deck a little bit so we have some room. And there's a million and one ways to do this, but I think I'm going to make these a very easy project so we can have lots of easy fun. And that would be something that goes along the lines of this. Grab some easy scissors. Okay, so what I'm going to do... I'm just going to fold this like that. And then I'm going to cut this. <clears throat> I guess I could use a fancy scissor. That would be pretty. Can you find it? Give yourself three, two, found it. Okay. Maybe give it a, a little pretty edge with a decorative scissor edge. Yeah, just something easy to do. Okay. I'll cut those in half. And let's do that again. All right. Very pretty, very pretty. Okay. Okay, so we've got four. This one, let's put you to the center and you to the center, and we'll get two out of you. Probably have to straighten you up a little bit. Here I am, straightening you up. Okay. And then in the middle. Okay, so now we have a bunch of these things. And so what can we make out of these? Okay, well these are pretty easy to make things out of because I'm going to do the very simple book fold design. Okay, and I think you can use any glue in here and I'm actually going to use up some of my art glitter glues. I have a bunch that I, I just I haven't used in a while and I think I should use it up. All right, and I'm going to grab some paper clips. Okay. And I'm going to take my paper clip and the little, it has a little loop and a big loop on the bottom. And I put the little loop on the inside into the glue. That's my latest trick. Into the glue. That way it grabs the paper clip. Push it all the way down. And then fold it in half. And you've got a decorative paper clip already. Already. So let's just do a few of these. So they're at the ready. Uh, 
not so straight. There. All right. So using up old book pages, using up scraps. It's always a good day when that happens. That's right. Pop that there. Close her up. And we're done. It's actually decorated on both sides, which is kind of nice. And with all the layering of stuff, it's thick enough to handle your average uh, paper weight or paper clip load. So just putting some of this down. I don't know. I don't think glue stick would work that well on the inside. You could try it, but your paper clip might slip out. But it might it might grab it. I mean, probably if you use Scotch Create glue stick, it would grab it. But maybe these other ones, I don't know. Okay. There. All right, these three are done. This guy, let's put a little more. Uh, some glue globber came out of there. All right, here we go. Oh, that's an idea. We could do that too. All right, so we got four. We'll do one more because they're fun to make. I like making these. So if you don't mind hanging out with me, we can just make these all day. Okay. So I got a straight top here, so let me put that small one in the middle. Yep, your fingers do get gluey. Okay, there we go. Very pretty. One more? All right, last one. Okay. Now, let's decorate these babies up. See where we can take them. Where can we go? What can we do? I already see a few things. Okay, so we've got, what, five or six of these things? I'm going to move my bag of scraps and I pull over my box of clusters. So clusters are just little collections of paper that have been stapled or attached together in some way, shape or form. So here is my uh, paper clip at the top of this particular one. So I can either build my design from the top, like I could glue that on the top. Okay, so let's just do that. And I'll make these a little extra fancy so you can get some ideas. Um, so I'm just gluing this onto the top. Almost like a like a journal card topper. Um, I do have a little paper clip there to uh, or a staple. I don't mind it. Sunny snoring. I don't know if you can hear him. Uh, I'm gonna put some glue down, and I've got. Oh, excuse me, son. Don't let me wake you up. <laughs> He's like soaring logs big time. Oh my boy. Okay, I've got some. Uh, this is a bling, like just random bling stuff probably want to use all this stuff at, up at some point in life and I'll just put some of these down I had some clear ones where'd you go hello clear ones where are you we're gone oh no we're here oh what I, I he oh I hear you there you are no I hear you uh, I don't know if these little Swarovski crystals or what but they're cute and I thought they looked nice and I got to use this stuff up because I'll sit here and save this stuff till the cows come home. You know what I mean? And there's enough of that. There's just enough of that because I keep shopping. <laughs> so I have to use up, got to use up the pretties. You can't bring more stuff in if you don't take stuff out. That's a little close, right? Okay. There. Yeah, very cute, right? And, and that's how it clips on the back. All right, so you're done. Oh, your clip is there. Okay, let's grab another. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Oh, excuse me, son. Don't let me wake you up. This one, I think I'd maybe cover most of it. I think that might be nice. Yep. Yeah, no, you just have a nice little uh, snoozeroonie down there. Don't let us disturb you. Oh, really? Really? Okay, there we go. And I'm really into this bling thing on this guy right now. Oh, he's pretty. Oh, excuse me, sunshine. My goodness. Making a little bit of noise down there, aren't you? Did I show you my bling bucket? This is my bling bucket. It's just got random bling. Blingish of blingish. I get a lot of that. Um, I got a lot of it originally, I think, at Walmart a long time ago. We need some glue. Make the line of glue. Make it a little bigger than you need. Then you need somewhere to set these to dry. Uh, okay. Could probably use tweezers, but I'm too lazy. They're, they're a whole foot away. I just don't feel like bending down to get them. But I think that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? It just gives it a little something. You know, it's not mandatory, but um, hey, I, I got to use this stuff up. And, okay, this guy. And what else? We have another little cluster here. Oh, this guy's got a cute little bird. Bird's upside down. Oh, well, that's too bad. 
And we'll put you at the top and have everybody figure out about the upside down bird. Oh, I know what I wanted to show you. I can't remember if I if I showed you that or not, but I'm going to show you anyway, because these are these are kind of new. Okay, put a nice glob of glue, and maybe we'll put a green one. I'll just put a green one on there. Why not? I'll use the green ones up too. And when you have a little glue on your fingers, it's not that hard to pick up these others. That's right. You just keep going, and they don't always have to be little straight lines. You can make like little clusters. Yeah, like there. We can we can do that. That's very pretty. Isn't that very pretty with the upside down bird? I like that. Okay, so let me find the other thing I wanted to add. I don't think I showed this to you yet. Maybe I can't remember, but anyway, doing it anyway. Uh, I hear some dried baby's breath. I had a little sprig of baby's breath and some flowers, and the flowers died, and this just dried on its own. But this looks really pretty. Like just, you can just take it and like glue it, or staple it, or attach it, or put it on with a piece of. Um, uh, washi tape, something like that. Maybe that's, no, this is kind of a waxy surface. Let me staple it. She probably should have done this before I put the paper clip in. Got to find the stapler. Oh, there's a naked and exposed ink. Okay. Where's the stapler? Oh, there it is. Nope, that's not the stapler. All right, look around. Look around, Pam. Can't be far. Gather all your things. You, you know, you really, before you, before you do a video, if you could please organize your stuff so you know where everything is, that would be greatly appreciated. Yes. Okay, my, guess where my stapler was? Right back where it was supposed to be. Yeah, I know. Who knew? I don't ever thought. <laughs> you neither, right? Okay. Okay, there. I stapled it on. That wasn't hard. And it's cute. Isn't that pretty? I mean, that's just really pretty. That's like wedding pretty. That's really pretty. Okay, do a few more. Something like, oh, sorry, Sunny. Something like that. Got two more here. Oh my gosh, 42 minutes. See, the time flies when you're having fun. And uh, even wh once we part, I'm going to sit here and keep doing these. I am. I want you to know that that's what I'm doing. I am doing this. I just love. Like, look how pretty that is. I, in, I don't know. I don't know. It's just so pretty. I can't stand myself. And now you don't always have to like glue beads. You can like, if you have something weird like this, just hanging around, you can just glue that on there. Yeah. You don't, you don't need permission. You can just do it and hide your own staple there. Take that staple. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with the staple. It is a nice industrial look, but it's just not the theme I'm going for today. Oh, that's kind of neat, the backwards look. Yeah, I like that. Um, okay, what else do we have? Just something little, nothing nothing big and fancy. Okay, that's small. And, and you don't always have to go like just at the top. You can go off to the side, like a side uh, pony. You know what I mean? Or a side bun. There we go. Do a side bun. Okay. Okay, so, oh, did I, did I show that? I don't, can't remember, but we'll do this. I grabbed some gauze. If I showed you this already, I apologize, but I'm still having fun, so I'm not stopping. <laughs> I'm carrying on. Um, this is some gauze I dyed. You don't have to dye it, but I, I did. And it's going to cut a little piece off. Don't knock those over, Pam, come on. All right, and then it's going to open it up a little, fluff it up a little. Are you too far away? I'm going to take you closer. Okay, and I'm going to put it right there where that staple is. This is the hardest part. You get that down, and it wants to come with you, but you tell it it's got to stay. And then I'm going to put one more little dollop, and I'm going to put a little bling there. Oh, that meow meow, right? Meow meow meow. That is so cute. Look how cute you are. Um, and I, I'm not going to do any more to you. You're, you're pretty as you are. You don't need any more than that. Um, yeah, so I think that is, I've just got more things to play with here. I could just keep playing, but I think I need to let you go. And so you can have some fun too. Um, let me see if Mr. has anything to say. Well, let me show you what we made. We made quite a few together today. Well, first of all, we made our papers. Let me show you the papers that we haven't even begun to chop up yet. But these papers are glorious. And look how fast, look how quickly. I think we made four total. No, here's one. Here's another one. Uh, we made a bunch very quickly and can be used for so many things. And then once you think that is said and done, then you can come along and you can just make a whole 
What, can you see these better on the black probably, huh? The little um, altered paper clips. I mean, there's 101 ways to make altered paper clips and they're so easy and so fun and they're so handy and um, there really isn't anything bad in the world of altered paper clips. Um, so there, I leave you with that to contemplate on in your world today. The paper clips of it all. Um, Sunny, you want to say something? I, I'm not sure, Mom. Okay, I'm coming. I'm not very far. So I really don't have any choice. I'm coming. I'm being flipped over right now. Okay. All right, here I am coming in. Where are you people? Where are you there? Snacks. There you are. Hello. Hi, everybody. It's sunshine and everything is dandy. Um, it's very hot in Florida and we're sweating. And um, uh, mom got me a new fresh bag of food. Yeah, I really like it. It's good. And I'm enjoying some chewy dried sweet potatoes lately. Yes, they're very good. Very good. And what, anything else? Like any, any pup dates? Any, any, anything of grand importance? Um, 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 is it Christmas yet? Is it Christmas yet? Is it Christmas yet? Not, not yet, Sonny. Oh, well wait, is it crafter Christmas yet? Because crafters, cr we craft for Christmas like way early. Yes, actually, I guess you could consider it the beginning of crafter Christmas. So start thinking about your crafty Christmas stuff, everybody, because something, you know, Christmas might come along. You never know. All right, just want to keep everybody posted. Take care. Bye. <laughs> okay, thank you, Sunny. All right, back back in the bed, or in, in, right behind me. Okay, um, hey, if you haven't signed up for my free monthly emailed newsletter, make sure you do. You get a free digital image mailed to you every month along with a note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is, and checklist of supplies, and page list ideas, and junk journal tips, updates from me, peeks at my digikits, and so much more coming to your um, free monthly email newsletter and around between the nine or ten o'clock mark there's a link you'll see it pop up it's like a little bar you can click on that to sign up or there's the links down below hey it's still June so all through June 2022 I have a special running if you purchase a fundle you will automatically get the flower legends digi kit printed out and included in with your fundle if you order during June of 2022 you don't need any special code you don't need any special password any secret knock at the door no secret handshake it just comes automatically and uh, a fundle is a collection of uh, very old uh, antique and vintage and interesting papers, unique pages, um, old book pages, magazine pages, music paper, dictionary paper, um, old antique ledger, checks, notebook, uh, notebooks, um, postcards, receipts, all sorts of things, a hundred plus pieces, all gathered together in a package called a fundle. They're very wonderful feeling papers. All are different, all different types and styles and feels of paper. Um, there's a lot of interest. If you're a collector or a historian, you might find a lot of very interesting goodies uh, sandwiched inside these packages. So that is running June uh, through, uh, through June of 2022. Okay, so yes, that uh, Flower Legend Digi Kit, I print it out for you and I insert the five pages into the fundle. So it's right in there. Um, this uh, digi kit will not be sold in my Etsy store. Um, it is only for this special. And there you go. And what else? What else? What else? Um, my videos, they come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. I also have some video podcasts that I sprinkle throughout the week. and um, But the, the new latest material will always be on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And I have an Etsy shop where you can find, when I have them done, journals and journal bundles. Uh, my vintage digi kits, which are computer files, which uh, they're five pages each. You print and download them and you print them out on your computer at home or your printer at home. If you don't have a printer, I have a print and mail service where I will print and mail 10 digi kits to you. Um, it, all I need is your list of digi kit names 
Um, you don't need to purchase the individual digikits. You just send me the list of 10 digikit names. I only need the first two to three words to pam at thepaperoutpost.com. That's my email. Or you can message me in Etsy and just give me your list right there. Just purchase the one fee for the print and mail service. And I have an Amazon shop. So if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies and things like that, that you see me use on the, on the, um, sh um, videos here, um, I have most, uh, I have, uh, many links to those items in there. And also I have a merchandise shop where um, if you like the phrase create with reckless abandon and you would love to have that for yourself or a friend on a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or a mug or a tote, I got you covered. Link is down below. And you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. I have a Facebook group. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges. Um, we're having a lot of fun doing the one, two, three, go. I give you three items right now for the weekly challenge and you just create something from it. And if you're feeling brave, you're welcome to post a picture of it. But actually we love the inspiration because everybody has their own unique spin on things and the creations are marvelous. And you're also welcome just to lurk and hang out and, and get inspired by those who are putting their pictures on and you're welcome to make comments and things like that as well. And uh, it's a very nice community. And I have a, a beautiful set of um, administrator and um, moderators who help us navigate uh, and keep the uh, uh, Facebook group a safe and happy place for everybody. And most of all, remember that fun can be simple and sometimes it can be found in just some book pages. So have some fun and create with reckless abandon, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.